Hello out there, my name is Milesy and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at Pilot's Friction Color Sticks. They are these erasable gel pens that use thermosensitive gel ink to be erased, which is why we have my iron on right here and it's very hot so I don't want to touch it. Now I'm going to take a couple of different looks at this because I've heard a lot of people say that they use this for cross stitch and on Reddit these are used for something very different so we're going to take a look at that and let's take a look at the pens first and we have 10 different colors which is part of the appeal of these because it is really nice when you can grid off in different colors we have black white blue orange red purple kind of a magenta i guess pink real purple green and a darker blue so i've got some of my dyed fabric which this is always the biggest most difficult thing to grid is dyed fabric and i've just got some scrap little white 28 count which can also be difficult to grid. So let's just take a look at the blue one because that's the one in my hand. And the way these work is on paper. When we right here, it's not an eraser. It's just a piece of rubber and the erases. There's no little bits and bobs anywhere. You can still see where the ink kind of is. And let me zoom that in or focus that so that you can see that. Uh, it's right here. You can still kind of see that. I don't know how well you can see that because there's a camera right in the way of my light. I will highlight that for you, but it is still there. And the reason why I have the iron because if we go ahead and write on the 28 count fabric that I have right here, and it does write very easily on the fabric, we're just going to make a little hash mark there. We're going to take our iron and away it vanishes. Now I can still see the line. Um, it is very subtle. If I didn't know it was there, I probably wouldn't see it, but it is, it is gone. So let's go ahead and take this white and I want to see how well the white shows up here. And, and I do plan on using this for something in the future, but we're just going to on the edge. That's not white. That's gray. Well, it shows up anyway. So there's that. I was really hoping this would be white. That's disappointing. That is hilariously disappointing, but we'll just erase it. And there's no more there. Now, here's the thing. The reason I have seen these on Reddit is because they're being used as spy pens for secret messages. So I am going to do some experimenting with these pens I'm going to draw some stuff on my little scrap fabric, probably cut off a smaller scrap over here, and we can do that right now. There we go. And I am going to take all 10 of these colors, and I'm going to mark on here, and then I am going to erase it. And then we're going to have some fun and see how easy it is to make that ink come back because I've heard it's very easy. So let's try a few things. Okay, so there we go. We've got 10 different marks for 10 different colors. Right away, the colors are not as bright and vibrant as I had expected them to be. Uh, the pink, the orange, and the red, I think are really the only ones that wound up being the colors that I really thought they'd be. The green is very dark, the purple, that magenta is very dark, <laughs> the white's not even white, it's gray. But uh, both of the blues are pretty similar, and even the black is not as uh, dark, I guess, as it could have been, and I was out of focus. 
but they're not, yeah, as bright and cheery as I thought they would be, considering what some of the pens look like. But we're going to go ahead and erase this now. And they, it does just immediately disappear. And there's some stuff on there from my iron, because my iron is disgusting, but that's fine. So now, let's go do some experimenting. Alright, so this has spent five minutes in the freezer and picked up a little stain from an ice cream container. And it's hard to see on camera, but all of the colors have come back. Uh, I can see these two, the red and orange. I think that's red and orange. I can see the pink ones really easily, and I can see ghosts of all of the other ones. Also, apparently, they don't quite erase anymore. I know the camera's not picking that up, but they don't erase. And they are, I can see them now, slowly fading back. Already! Um, I had a feeling about this because what I have heard on Reddit is that people use these for spy pens. Kind of just screwing around with their roommates or whatever. So this actually wound up in the freezer twice because while it was in there the first time, I did a little bit of research and I found the quilt skipper who did a very good write-up for quilting and using these pens and it already confirmed some things that I had suspected which is why I had thrown my fabric into the freezer in the first place. And what they have found is that the only way to get this ink to not reappear is with ink remover. And it has to be this very particular brand of ink remover, otherwise it won't come out. And I will put a link to this down in the description below because this is a very good write-up and it confirmed a lot of things I had already read or suspected. So the reason this went in there the second time was because I had come back to erase it, or I had come back after taking this out, decided to erase it and throw it back in there. And I did notice that after I erased it the first time, it didn't quite erase and it came back a little bit easily or more easily. And the comments on this page that I have found have a lot of confirmation as well that if your house gets even a little bit cold in the winter, the ink will come back. And I know it's very difficult to see on camera with the bright light and this camera isn't very good at picking up color to begin with. But, uh, I don't recommend this. I can't recommend this. This is awful. Not only are the colors not really what I wanted, which that's just incidental, but the fact that the ink comes back. Now, my freezer, I don't know exactly how cold it gets, but we keep it to where it will freeze soup and keep our vegetables frozen, but it still doesn't freeze our ice cream solid. So, I'm not sure exactly where that is. That said, it was in there for five minutes, so it didn't have a chance to get that cold. I had actually intended on running this through the gamut. I wanted to also put this outside for a little while because we've got a period of time coming up where it will be about 20 degrees overnight pretty soon, but I don't think I have to. I don't think I have to. I don't trust these pins, uh, which is exactly why I put my test mark over here on the edge, just in case. Um, so I guess if you live somewhere where it's not going to get below freezing with any kind of probability at all, you might be fine. That said, the quilt skipper has also noted that even on projects that didn't get cold, the ink still came back after about a year or so. So I just don't recommend these all around, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, if you have been using them, I'm not sure what to tell you because it seems like those lines very well may come back if your house gets too cold. So that sucks. Not sure what to do about that. Uh, yeah. Cool. 
I'm actually really disappointed in this. That's that's super unfun. But I guess I'll go ahead and leave this here. I wanted this to be a lot more in depth, but I don't think it has to just because with that alone, um, there's no trust with these pens to not permanently destroy my projects. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!